Every year we give you really great ideas on how to set up and grow your own veggie garden. Well, this year I'm really excited because we're at my place and I get to show you how I grow my veggies. First up, it's harvesting the summer crops and these mignonette have really been doing well for at least five or six weeks. A couple of tips. Harvest the mignonette from the outside. That way, the plant will just keep growing. And with mignonette and lettuce, if you keep watering on the high nitrogen fertilisers, you'll get a crop for many months to come. Now you'll notice I've got four separate beds. They're all about a metre across, which means you can harvest from either side. With the four beds, it's handy for crop rotation from season to season. Now, as for the soil, my compost bins are just there. means I can add into this beautiful material throughout the season. Another great crop at this time of the year are eggplants. Look at that colour. Aren't they beautiful? This variety is called Mini Lebanese, and it's a real beauty. Now, we're using these in summer salads, but because we love them so much in winter dishes, I've planted another four plants, and they'll harvest in about four months' time. Perfect for all those winter stews. Now, these are leeks, and these fellows are spring onions. Now, if you're going to plant them, you need a lot of patience because they're very slow crop to harvest, but they do look after themselves because they discourage insects. To extend your harvest, just keep planting out another half a dozen or so plants. They're around about two months old. These fellows have been in about four, maybe five months, and these are ready to harvest. Now, if you have a problem with a lot of flying insect pests, I really like these sticky glue traps. It'll trap aphids, white fly, a lot of nasty insects. And when it's full, you just replace it with a new one in amongst the foliage of your citrus or your tomatoes and beans. That way, the insects will see the yellow and get stuck there, but the birds won't. How good's that? Now, this weekend is about the last one where you can get tomato seedlings planted and get a really good crop before winter. These, believe it or not, are only two to three weeks old and they're growing like the dickens. Now, I've got this bamboo frame, but I'm actually tying up the tomato leaders with a piece of string and then securing those onto the bamboo frame. This will help support the plant as it grows. It's so easy and it looks great. You know, the most important tip I could give you for tomato care at this time of the year is to remove all these lower leaves. Prune them all back, then sprinkle on some fertiliser, water that in with a seaweed solution, and then sprinkle the sugar cane, not too thick, all the way around the base of the plant, keeping it just away from the stems. What we're trying to stop is mud splash because the mud contains fungal spores and it's the fungi and the bacteria that really destroys your plant as you go through autumn. And then finally, you spray it with the organic fungicides and you'll be harvesting tomatoes maybe into winter. I'm just planting some flowers through the veggie bed. Some marigolds here, some sweet alice and lobelia over the other side, and some lovely lavenders. They not only look pretty and very colourful, they attract beneficial insects like the bees. Well, there you go. Get into the veggie patch this weekend and start your little veggie garden and get the kids involved. And I'll give you all my seasonal veggie tips right throughout the whole year. <laughs>